I used to call her Indra. She used to have long tail, uh, hair. She had bobbed, uh, bobbed hair instead. So she asked me, Kuldeep, how do I look? And so I said, uh, you look beautiful even before, now you look more beautiful. So we had good relations that way. Police came, which was really a knock at the midnight. One thing which I did straight away was uh, to take out two mangoes from the frigidaire. And uh, I said, I wouldn't get because I'm so fond of it. So I ate them. And uh, so I said, wait for a while. And so, so I said goodbye to my family, etc. So when I came to this um, Tugluk Road uh, police station, there's some person who was in charge, IPS officer, Barar, I still remember. He touched my feet. I said, what is the problem? He said, you know, you are my guru. I have just finished your book, Distant Neighbors, and I liked it very much. I am glad to say, this is a duty I have to do. I said, do what? So, so when I was sitting, he said, sir, you are entitled to breakfast five-star hotel breakfast. I said, let me have it. So Ashoka was very near and Tuglaka, this uh, Tugla would say. So we, I ate and uh, so now, um, I, as usual, the police jeep did not uh, move. So battery was down. So he said, uh, so the person who had come to arrest me, he said, sir, do you mind if you also push? So I pushed the thing and sat inside, and that is how I reached uh, Tehar Jail. And Tehar Jail, uh, food, uh, I'm saying, uh, one was food and one was accommodation. Uh, when I reached, accommodation was not a problem, I did not know, but at least the food came. And food was what? Dal full of flies. I said, Baba, I can't eat. There are too many flies. He said, yeah, there is nothing else. So there was a person sitting next to me. He was uh, from Janssen. He said, look here, I have pickle. So to eat and then I shall give you pickle. So then as days went by, it didn't mind. I didn't mind because look here, there were flies. I should take them out and put them in. Before arrest in the press club, uh, lots of people and uh, and, uh, and we were joking etc about emergency etc and uh, there was a solidarity after I came back uh, from jail detention was uh, three months because my wife had filed habeas corpus of petition and uh, it was accepted so I was released but um, when I came back and uh, tried to pick up the thread from where I had left it off, no, nobody was willing to come with me. People were afraid. Such a fear, I had never known. And the media had caved in. I think formally there will be no emergency. That's not possible now. They have done. But informally, I think the conditions are created, and today conditions are there. Okay, nobody speaks of So, people, judiciary, uh, the press, uh, on the art, the, the students, everybody should um, speak out now. No, very few people are there to speak out. Because now they say, mind our own business, what is the problem? So that, I, they are indifferent or maybe afraid also at that time.